An update on a WSAZ investigation. Last night we showed you a couple of roads and a bridge that neighbors say are a real cause for concern. And we took their concerns straight to the Department of Highways. And less than 24 hours later, neighbors are already seeing a difference on one of those roads. News Channel 3's Cam Rafferty has an update on the work happening today and tries to get answers on when the other work may begin. They say what a difference a day can make. That saying ringing true in part of Salt Rock and Cabell County. If you take a look at this road I showed you Thursday night, littered with large cracks, you might not recognize it Friday. This is what McComas Road looked like in my story about 24 hours ago. Friday morning, crews could be seen patching the road. Well, it's kind of amazing. Uh, they started early this morning. I also showed you this bridge just about a mile down the road. Neighbor Jan Height King showed me gaping holes to cracks to crumbling walls in the lower Trace Creek Bridge. After seeing the concerns Thursday, I reached out to the Division of Highways about the bridge, asking if any emergency repairs would be made and when the bridge was last inspected. At that time, a spokesperson said they were working to get answers to my questions. When I went back out to the bridge Friday, I saw utility crews working, so I asked what they were working on. I was told crews were moving lines to make way for construction of a new bridge. Jan says she has reached out to the DOH multiple times, but never got any answers. Friday, she was surprised to see some type of work happening. You've been trying to reach out for a long time. And to see work being done now, what are your thoughts on that? In less than 24 hours, what we the, what we as neighbors couldn't accomplish in years has been accomplished in less than 24 hours just by a new story on WSAZ. And, and to be frank about it, nobody should have to go to these efforts to get any kind of bridges repaired or... Friday, I followed up with the DOH on my questions. A spokesperson confirmed the bridge was awarded for construction in 2020 and said the bridge is regularly inspected, as are all bridges in the West Virginia DOH's inventory. But with three years passing and no new bridge, I asked when the construction of the bridge is now expected to be completed and again asked when the bridge was last inspected. I haven't heard back yet. Community members like Jan Height King say she doesn't feel safe traveling the three bridges along McComas Road, but she says her family has to travel them every day. Do you think tractor trailers can go across this bridge safely? No, uh, I actually reached out to a friend of mine last night that drives tractor trailers and he said um, after me sending in pictures, he wouldn't feel comfortable taking three tons across that, let alone 33 tons. <laughs> Hoping to see construction of a new bridge sooner than later. Kim Rafferty, WSAZ News Channel 3, Cabell County. Now, we do have an update to one of the issues in Kim's story just now. We just a few minutes ago got a few photos from Jan of McComas Road. Take a look at this. After that patching work just this morning, she did say holes have already started opening up in the road, as uh -huh. you see here. So we have now sent these photos on to DOH to alert them of the issue and ask if emergency repairs are going to be made. We will let you know as soon as we hear back on that.